Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be talking about universal 3D model compatibility and conversions and I am super excited about this project so let's jump right into it. And it is all thanks to an application called Speckle and you don't even have to think about it as an application. It's more like an extension for all of your favorite 3D modeling applications. As you can see I'm going to be showing off AutoCAD, Blender, Rev, and SketchUp just as a proof of concept in this video but there are many other applications that have access to this extension as well. Uh, Archicad, Grasshopper, there's Rhino down here, uh, Unity and Unreal, I know those are more like video game engines if I'm getting that correct, but there are many uh, um, other 3D modeling applications included, you just have to explore, and obviously there are going to be many more added in the future as well. The, uh, this is all in beta right now, but I just wanted to show it off as early as possible. I think this is going to be a game changer for the industry, but let's jump right into it. As you can see, I am in uh, SketchUp right now, SketchUp 2024. And I'm going to show you how to export it from here and then import it into all of the other files or all of the other applications that I just showed off. And if you're not using SketchUp, um, all of the steps are going to be very similar. So just follow along and it should be pretty easy to follow no matter what program you're using. So what I'm going to do is highlight everything I want to export and I want to highlight everything obviously. So I'm going to hit create new project and let's name it test number 12 because obviously I had a lot of previously failed test that didn't go as well earlier but uh, under test number 12 we can simply hit send and we're going to send it right over and it's finished uploading and you may be thinking where exactly did we send it to uh, well speckle has its own website um, you can create an account with speckle and it'll upload it to the cloud they have their own cloud storage program so once we export it from sketchup it's going to send it to the cloud and now we can go into any other program let's start off with revit i suppose and we can retrieve it from the cloud by going into the same speckle extension, typing in what we're looking for, which is test number 12, click on that, and instead of send, we're going to click receive. So once we click receive, it'll start loading and it will start importing our model that we just sent from SketchUp. And something about Revit exclusively, uh, it has this nice little loading animation, which I think is pretty cool and funny. So it shows you everything you're importing. But uh, what I like about speckle is uh it's universal um you don't have to export from one program and import into another program and kind of cross your fingers to hope that it'll import correctly what speckle does is that it exports it as a speckle file so it can import it as a speckle file as well later so no matter what programs you're using it's all going to be interchangeable and as you can see um revit has finished look let's get all of these lines out of here it's like I'm in a jungle over here. But as you can see, it exported really nicely into nice little groups. Uh, floor, stairs, pillars, and if I go back into SketchUp real quick, exit that out. Uh, roof, walls, floors, pillars, once again. So that's something I like about Speckle. As long as you're organized in your initial file, wherever you export it later, it'll also be nicely organized. And if I wanted to turn textures on as well, I just have to go into a shaded view, and as you can see, it imports materials as well. I mean, not exactly materials right now, it's more like a shaded view, but I'm sure I can mess with the settings later. Or if you wanted an additional video on that, I can do that as well. But there we go, that's Revit in a nutshell, and we can just go into some other programs as a proof of concept. Let's jump into AutoCAD. All we have to do is open the connector, and once again, search for the project that we want to import, and we called it test number 12. So once again, simply switch it from send to receive, and now we can import our file right in. And that one just it literally took a, a second, maybe two, if I'm being a, a bit hyperbolic. But uh, we can go to home, we can go to our layers, it should import all of those as well. And I know we have that nice AutoCAD wireframe look, but we can change it to realistic as well to have our nice shaded colors all in our groups as well. So it's very simple, it's very easy to use, and just one more proof of concept. Uh, blender here. I use blender like once a year maybe so I'm not very uh, Well versed in the blender field, but I usually use AutoCAD and Revit Those are more interior design and architecture related programs But I just wanted to show off that it doesn't have to be uh, architecture related. It can be literally anything It can be a more creative one, but once again simply click receive I know blender uses meshes. I'm just gonna leave that the default settings for now but as you can see, that one was just as fast as AutoCAD, and we got the exact same results. We can even have the same exact layer system. And let me see here. 
try to find a way to... Uh, there, there, there's all the colors. As I said earlier, I'm not very well versed in the Blender field. But that's it, uh, that's all of the conversions. Um, you just upload it to the cloud and then import it later and it's as easy as that. You don't even have to uh, fill all of your computer with useless files that you're going to import once and never use again. But uh, it's very easy to use and I talked about uh, converting a lot, but let's talk a little more about compatibility. Uh, let's jump back into Revit and let's go into a floor plan view. All right, something I like to use Revit uh, for is staircases because they are super easy to model. All I have to do is draw a line, and if I go back and do the 3D view, look at that. <laughs> Let me hide this real quick so we don't have any more lines in our way. But look at that. A nice staircase with railings and everything as well included in just a second. If I try to do that in SketchUp, it would take me at least like a half hour. So this is something that I could see myself using Revit and then exporting it back into SketchUp 4, which I'll do right now. So once again, just select everything you want to uh, export and we're still in test number 12 but we're going to switch back into send instead of receive and send it right back over so what we're doing right now is basically overwriting our file in the cloud right now so we can uh, import the stairs into everything as well so after that it's all finished we can go back into SketchUp I have so many programs open right now this is such a mess but oh gosh I'm lost again but now that we're back in SketchUp we can open speckle again Test number 12 is what we're using, and this time we're going to click receive, and hopefully in just a minute here, it'll bring in our staircase as well. Okay, it finished loading, and as you can see, it brought in our staircase. It, it also brought in some section cuts, so I didn't think it would do that as well, but um, obviously they're not active right now, but if I wanted to mess with the settings, I could show the true section cuts like it did in Revit as well. So. I think this program is literally the future of the industry. A lot of things that hold people back from working together is problems with importing and exporting and compatibility issues, but this basically fixes it all in one go. Hey guys, sorry for the cut in the video real quick, but I just realized I talked about Speckle for 10 minutes straight and I didn't even tell you how to download the darn thing. So what you're going to do is go to speckle.systems, I'll either link it in the description or the comments below. But you're going to go up to here and then go to download. And then you can download it for Windows or Mac. Sorry, Linux users, I'm sure you'll find a way in the future. But this is going to install the Speckle Manager for you. And all you have to do is find the applications that you see yourself using in the future and, and uh, install the corresponding applications or the uh, corresponding extensions, my bad. It's just so you don't have to download unnecessary items. And after that, uh, you're going to have to create an account um, I'm not sure if it's necessary, it might be necessary now, but this is how you have access to the cloud and you can see all of my previous test projects from earlier. And if you want, you can even click into them and it'll give you a nice little preview. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I did the stairs from earlier, but it shows the stairs as well. And there are a few um, other things you can do as well. Uh, you can set up scenes. Uh, you can even copy this link and send it to all of your other people working the project as well. Uh, just to see a little uh, preview of the model on the go, which I think is really nice. Uh, you can set up views. Let's do front, I guess. You can do shadows, projection views, section boxes as well. There's actually a decent amount of options on this website. I really haven't really touched the website. I usually just use it for the cloud, but there are quite a few things uh, to explore on here as well. So it's not totally useless. I mean, I never said it was, but uh, you might find yourself using this more than me. But as you can see, that's how you convert files and also how you have interchangeability and compatibility with different programs. So if this helped you, or if you wanna see more videos like this about compatibility in the future, uh, remember to subscribe and leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.